going on? Jen here. I've decided we're skipping Alcoholics Anonymous this week because we are going to do some dying. So come die with me. I'm so excited. Let's get started. All right, guys. So first things first. Um, if you're interested in dying, let me turn this down a little bit. Um, if you're interested in dying, there's a couple different methods, of course. Now, I have the pot, big soup pot. Um, those are good for kettle dying. Um, and then I have, these are restaurant pans, and they are awesome. You can fit roughly four skeins. All right, guys, so we have a couple different options when it comes to um, where we can get dye from. Um, now, I, I kind of get from a variety of places. So I have ProChem, which is Pro Chemical and Dye. They have their own website. Um, I also have Dharma Acid Dye. I am trying out, I had a friend who sent me the Country Classics, and so I'm trying those out. Um, and then we have the Jack to Card Dyes. So, now obviously you can go way overboard and buy all the dye, or you can start out with basic colors. Um, it's kind of up to you on what you want to do, which is fine. Um, I have a lot of different ones, but I also still mix. So I like to add layers to my yarn. That's one thing. Um, I think a lot of people, you have to figure it out for yourself. Um, your technique that you want to do. I add, personally add layers. Um, so like for this one, I'm making um, some sweetheart yarn and well one is going to be a sweetheart yarn and then the other is going to be to be named but it'll be singles awareness type yarn. So you're going to have two different options for February and I'm going to show you how I'm dyeing them. So let's get started so i tend to use these pans when i'm doing speckles and if i'm doing a lot of layers now for these it's more for tonals and well i'm going to show you okay so got this hank of yarn which i'm excited about and i'm actually going to add it into this pot. I have already added the dye. Um, and let me show you. I'm gonna submerge into the pot. So, now I'm just doing a light blue. Um, and I'm I don't want it to completely penetrate. I want there to still be white. You can see it floating there. All right, and this I have had turned on, so it is ready for some speckles. All right, so to do the speckling that I do, um, I have some dye in these containers, in each one, and I'm going to add just a teeny tiny bit of water, oops, a bit much, I think it'll be okay. okay. All right, give it a swirl. Okay, so you will also need a fan brush. Um, I have used a smaller version of this, um, a smaller fan brush, but I just really liked this one. So when I first started dyeing, I didn't really feel comfortable having all the powdered form dye out. So that is why I came up with this plan 
here. And so the first thing I got was this um, fan brush. And uh, in addition to mason jars, because those work awesome um, at getting dye together. Um, okay, so let's see. We are doing for a sweetheart yarn and then the anti-sweetheart yarn. So what I just do is, I just flicker. It's, I'm splattering, I'm like splatter painting, which is really fun. All right, so biggest tip, you start with the lighter color, which in this case is yellow. And we add it. I'm gonna get you guys closer too. So we've got the yellow added. I'm going to add an orange. That doesn't look orange. Uh so depending on, so this is the orange. That we're going to use, um, which I enjoy. Okay, so we're going to add the orange, and obviously, this is going to take over a little bit more. Um, so, I didn't rinse the brush out for the yellow just because I knew I was adding orange. Um, it is obviously you're going to have to rinse the brush out when you are going. Um, to colors that where it would mix really horribly. All right, now we're going to add purple. So the downside to this method is you end up getting um, dye splatters everywhere and I don't know about you guys but it's not always a fun thing to have to clean so I end up I'll end up with dye on my wall and it's just something else okay so I am adding just a little bit of green not a lot. I feel like I need to add more yellow because the orange is overpowering. So I know a lot of people, they are always fascinated when by dyers and I think anyone can do it, but I also understand how it's not for everybody. Um, I know I have a few friends who they hated it but then I also have some who loved it. And it really just kind of depends on how, well, if you can't handle like a mess like that, I would definitely suggest not doing it or doing a different method. Um, so we can, there are obviously multiple methods for speckling. You can also um, use a salt and pepper shaker. Um, some people take it from the jar and just sprinkle it. Um, that's for a lot of like really grouped speckles. Um, the salt and pepper shakers, if you use those, you can add different colors or different dyes together and you can have like, then it'll all be together, um, but it'll be like rainbow colors. Um, and I feel like sometimes you can get a lot finer with that, but I personally like the fact that I am not putting, um, the rest of my house at risk, um, in regards to like the dye. I also have found that I don't end up with dye all over the place, um, I know some people end up finding it like in other rooms. I do not. 
it pretty much just stays not the right one. It pretty much just stays in this area. Um, yes, it splatters onto the wall, but for this purpose, it's fine. All right, so now that I have speckled this and I am turning on the blue, let me show you the blue. So I've got the blue in here, it's starting to bubble. Okay. Now, for this, I am pretty sure, I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do, but I wanted it to be like a sweet tarts kind. So, my, this is layer one, but I need to flip the yarn. So where are my tongs? Another helpful purchase have been tongs, um, obviously. The water is still hot. I did turn it down, but it's still hot. Um, so you can grab your skein and flip it over. I have done this with just hands before, and sometimes it's just not so fun. I can't imagine why. Okay, so let's throw these there. Okay. Now, we're going to repeat that whole process. Um, here's one thing. So, here is... We are going to try something. I'm going to show you guys something, though. So, I am trying to limit the speckles to one area of each color. So, that way, it's not as mixed. Um, which, with this method, doesn't work as well. And... But I just want to show you guys some of the stuff you can do. Okay, so that was the yellow, the orange. Okay, I got a rinse. That was a lot. The green. I wish that was more pastel y, but it's not. Alright, and then the purple. Okay, so what I really, 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 really want to be able to do is twist these. But I don't know that that's going to be. It's probably going to be a little bit hot. Yeah. Okay, so quickly, see I stuck with just the yellow, the orange, the green, and then the purple. Now I know, you know, you can either mix it all up or you can kind of separate it like this. Um, either works. And any style that you choose, it's, you know, it's up to you. I personally use both. Um, I use both methods. It just depends on what I'm dyeing. Um, this one, I, my sons had gotten some Sour Patch Kids Conversation Hearts, and it kind of gave me, you know, like, oh, nostalgia. So I decided, okay, well, I'll do like Conversation Heart colors, kind of. So we've got these here. It's going to be cooling off and we are going to check on our ski other skin. Okay. I need the tongs. <clears throat> so, we have a very pretty blue going on right now. And the Water is almost exhausted, but not quite. So we'll give it a little bit longer. All right, guys, out of laziness, and because I didn't want to wait for this, um, I decided to do another method. So I was going to twist and then dunk into some pale pink. 
Um, but instead, I've decided I'm gonna use an eyedropper and I've already mixed up some pink. I'm gonna add just some splashes. Okay, this is taking too long. I'm a little bit impatient and I'm not happy with these droppers that I got. Um, I had some others and they worked a lot better. They were bigger. I needed to pay attention to this when I ordered it. Okay, that's working me. I'm too lazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump, which is another method that, you know, works just as well. You guys can't really see what I'm doing. So let me see. So I'm just adding it on here. I just kind of play. Playing is key. You just kind of play. Add dye where you feel it. And if you don't add it where you feel it, well, I don't know what to tell you. You probably don't want to be dying. All right, so I'm going to blast this with some heat. And this is almost done, but that's cooling off. So now it's cooling. This is going to get another dose of heat. And then that's going to cool off. Um, I will get back to you guys on the finished product. I think one of the skeins, I'm going to add black speckles to it. So I may not show you guys that because you already know how to speckle or how I speckle. So we'll see. We will see. But I do plan on adding a picture of it. Um, these are going to be up for pre-order. Um, and I think I'm going to do a pre-order discount. Um, but I think I'm going to do that like in the next week or so um, it may be up already i don't know we'll see all right guys um thank you so much for coming and dying with me so far um i will hopefully do some more to show you guys and um i'll have you guys come die with me more all right bye guys have a great day